You guys ever thought about how your numbers feel if you keep pushing them away from their origin? Warning! Math ahead! It's advised to keep your favorite calculator at hand. Let's talk about the two main types of numbers you encounter in Unreal. Integers are discrete numbers. There is a biggest and a smallest one. And well, you cannot divide them. But floats, they are somewhat continuous. I don't know. Whatever. No, no, no. We will talk about this. Today we're gonna talk about single precision floats, which are the floats we use in Unreal. We have 32 bits. One bit is for the sign. 0 and 1 indicate plus and minus. 8 bits are for the exponent and 23 bits for the mantissa. I know this sounds very technical, so we will just say the exponent gives you the interval boundaries and the mantissa gives you the number of subdivisions. The 32-bit float representation subdivides the intervals in over 8 million numbers. The interval boundaries are powers of 2. This is an example where we look at 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 3. Try to add the next power and find the missing point. The red dots are our simple floats and you can see as the numbers get higher, the float point density gets less. This is just for a visual representation. I will not go into more detail, there will be further readings provided. If you don't get what's going on, the distance between the points increases as the exponent increases, but the absolute amount of float numbers we have between the two boundaries is constant, so they're more far away from each other as we look at bigger numbers. So when this only happens when we look at big numbers, so why do I care? For the next part, you don't really have to be able to follow the math, but this stuff might help you if you get strange bugs and the numbers are smaller than one might think. So let's start immediately with a big one. From which number on do we lose the ability to add 1 to our variable? The smallest step is 2 to the power of minus 23. And this leads to our question. In which interval do my floats have the distance of 1 to each other? Conveniently it's the same number as the amount of floating points we have between two boundaries. But this is not enough. We need twice as much space between two numbers to swallow the small number. And there it is, our magic number is 16,777,216. For the sake of easiness we will just use 17 million. Now we are going to break Unreal. This is the default first person shoot a template don't look at the red ball don't look at the red ball the red ball is from my spline tutorial if you want to know something about splines watch my cool spline tutorial at the end of the tutorial you will see how to make this ball run around good you want to open your first person character blueprint and in the event begin play we're going to set a timer by function or set function by timer set timer by function name we're going to use this to, to loop over a function which adds a really small number to a big number and prints it on our screen. We want this to happen every once in a while. I want this to be 10 times a second, so we're going to use the time of point 0.1. We want to, to loop this and now we're going to make a function name. I want to create a function. This function should be called add function and then you go back into your event graph and you're going to type in this name exactly this name into the function name slot add function add function nice now that we have our basic setup let's go into the add function and we want to make a new variable called big num big o num this big number should be a variable of the type load we want to compile and save go to big num and give the big num a really big number and we wanted to use 17 million for our small experiment now continuing i want to add something to my big number so we want to get our big number drag out of the pin press plus float plus float one is perfect now drag 
big num out with alt pressed connect this to our big number and I want to set our big number drag it out print string and connect the big number to the string perfect let's hit compile save and now we want to test this thing we are going to open our viewport and let's have a look at the top left side and as you see there is nothing happening we see the 17 million and it should add one to our 17 million but it's not adding anything anything my friend so that you guys really believe me we are going to decrease big num to let's say 10 let's do it with a 10 hit compile hit save let's go to our viewport and look at this the number is rising again beautiful but this does not only affect floats in essence of vectors are only three floats fancy combined here we are again back in our big num example but now let's start and let's change the big num big o num to a big vec we're going to make a new vector and we will call this big vec and in essence i really want to do the same we're going to add a vector a unit vector to our big vec so get big vec drag it out hit plus plus vector and let's do this one 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 in every coordinate now we're going to set the big vec and well let's connect this just to our big vec to our print string thingy connect the vector to the string let's get rid of all the other stuff and we have to set the big vec that compile if i remember correctly it was 17 million 17000 to 3 press a to copy everything paste paste now compile save let's get back to our game let's hit play and there you see <laughs> nothing is happening we only see 17 million in every coordinate nice these problems arise when you add small numbers to a big one as you saw it's impossible to move the big cheese with small numbers but what is small and what is big the answer is right in front of you calculate the binary logarithm of your number times 2 to the power of 24 around this up this gives you an exponent take 2 to the power of this exponent adding your initial number to the result will not change the number as we all want to make bigger worlds at the lower frame times this gets a problem if you just add the frame time to a counter to measure your time played game this will stop working after 37 hours at 144 frames per second i have to admit this is a pretty shitty way to measure the play time but here are some numbers compared to the frame times and well frame time is closely bond to physics and physics um oh boy if you look at the number for 144 frames per second it is 131072 as the units in unreal correspond to one centimeter per unit this is approximately 1.3 kilometer this is quite a realistic distance from the origin and these are only the big numbers where the worst case is happening the calculation errors start at lower numbers now that you are aware of the problems, thank you for watching and leave a subscription and watch my Twitch channel. You know, subscriptions are the only currency nowadays. Oh well, you're still watching? Okay, let's continue. And well, how to solve this problem now? They only feel lonely far away from their origin. So we can shift their origin, make calculations of small numbers with small numbers and make them big again. This works similarly to counting from 1 to 10 in your mind and using your fingers for how many times you counted to 10. You can always reconstruct the true amount while only adding small numbers. This is a nice exercise and is probably useful for an idle game. 
As I promised, here are some further topics for reading. The IEEE is the standard for floats. This is a must read. The broader topic is computer representation of numbers. And the systemical analysis of errors is about absolute and relative error. If you want to learn more about this absolute and relative error, all this is part of numerical mathematics, which is all about computation. And well, the most important recommendation is Kakigurui. This is uh, if you want to learn something about uh, game, game theory, won't you? <laughs>